Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we are again in the garage. I feel like half my videos start this way with a crappy car on the lift behind me, but super excited this time because the Army Chevelle. And we just got back from doing Hot Rod Power Tour, which was amazing. Uh, honestly, I couldn't be happier. This thing, I didn't even plan to make it out of the state, much less do pretty much the entire route. And even did the Tail of the Dragon uh, down in Tennessee. Had a great time, met a bunch of great people. This thing sat in the desert for 40 years before we got a hold of it. Uh, and then did uh, three and a half months of thrashing to do an LS swap, get running and driving, get on the road, did very little testing, and then went for it. And results were better than I'd expect. So here we are. I wanted to do a quick video to go over the cost because that's one thing everybody always asks. I'm gonna have other videos to do the whole swap and the best of the build on the car, but the cost is something that everybody wants to know what it takes to do it. This is my first time doing it. I've researched it for years. Things have actually gotten cheaper overall, I'd say, because there's so many knockoffs for parts out there and they're good knockoffs. They're not really terrible parts. They're, there's actually pretty good stuff for cheap now. So there's a reason everybody does this. So I'm gonna go over what it took me to do it on this. Uh, it's a 5.3 LM7 out of a 01 Silverado. I got pretty lucky, I think. I got the engine, the trans, the harness, and the PCM for $700. And I'm not sure I could have gotten all that for much cheaper in a running condition. It was missing the mass airflow sensor. I had that sitting around from another engine trans that I was originally gonna use before I found this one. So not a big deal there. I'm just gonna run down this list. I'm gonna hit the big things. I told up all the receipts I could find, all my online purchases, and I'm gonna give you the total of what it took to do this. Trying to do it as cheap as I could within reason. I mean, there's probably some cost cutting measures that you could do and really hack things in, but this was a reasonable cheap swap, I thought. I reused the truck harness. I used the instructions on lt1swaps.com. Great resource, made it super easy to do. Uh, I also used their service for reprogramming the PCM, which was great, $75. It was a week turnaround. They deleted the anti-theft, they deleted the rear row twos, and it was a plug and play thing while I was done with it. Turned over, uh, fired right off first time I turned it over. The mounts and the oil pan were the other big things to get it into the car. The mounts are pretty cheap, $39 from ICT Billet. Use the stock rubber mounts that were already in the car. Probably could have replaced those, they're ancient, uh, but they were still intact, so went ahead and went with it. And the oil pan was a Holley 302-2 knockoff. Uh, instead of the $450 Holley pan, it was the $200 eBay one. Um, but that's what it took to fit it in here. Cleared the cross member, and then I wasn't able to reuse the stock manifolds like I hoped to off the truck, so I ended up using some eBay headers. But I only have $320 in the whole exhaust system. That's $225 headers, $40 in mufflers that were new in the box. I actually found on Craigslist of all places. So I got pretty lucky there. And then some parts store tubing and adapters to build basically the most ex simple exhaust system I could put together. So eBay truck cool air intake to get the filter and tubing for $55. Fuel system, I'd used a Caprice fuel tank that we had sitting around. Obviously the one that was in this car for 40 years in the desert was garbage. But I did use a brand new G-body sending unit and a evil energy pump from Amazon. So $120 in the tank fuel system, $120 in AN lines to go up to the front, and another $20 in fittings there. Some fuel rail adapters to go to the stock truck rails. All told, fuel system was around $250. So for a high pressure system to run the stock injection, again, couldn't have done that much cheaper. I looked at doing the carbureted route uh, just so I didn't have to deal with the fuel system and some other things. But by the time I brought a carbureted intake and a carburetor, you would have had $1,000 right there probably to the cost. So I went with the stock fuel injection. Bunch of other little things. New O2 sensors, $53. Belt, $22. Cooling hoses, $65. Uh, new fans from Amazon, $45. EGR delete, $23. Miscellaneous wiring stuff, $35. New plug wires, $50. A uh, flexible dipstick to use that style oil pan and clear the eBay headers was $30. Some other odds and ends. Grand total, $2,079. So I didn't really have a set budget when I started this. I just kind of was trying to minimize costs along the way. So you could probably do it cheaper. There's probably, you know, $1,000 LS swaps out there. 
I don't think you can get there in this configuration for much cheaper than that. Honestly, I would budget a little bit more if you're doing this. I would probably budget closer to 3,000. You probably wanna do more work to the motor while it's outside the car before you put it back in. Take advantage of the opportunity to do a cam swap and some other odds and ends, some maintenance. I didn't even drop the transmission pan and change the transmission filter. I just put fresh fluid in, whatever I lost out of the lines while I was doing the installation. That did include a new drive shaft, uh, $280 for that from Southwest Speed, uh, and some odds and ends maintenance stuff, and some odds and ends to make installation easier. But overall, Really don't think I could have done it much cheaper than that. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Also, tell us what we should do with this thing because I bought it on a whim. I really didn't have much of a plan for it. We did power tour. Now we're back. I don't really have a whole lot of attachment to this style car. I just want to preserve it. It's got a weird history. If you haven't watched the intro video on this, check out the intro video. And we'll have a bunch more videos going up of the swap itself and building the car. So like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.